Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Taiji Kogula. This is the outline of my presentation. First, introduction, second, bioremediation, and finally, conclusion. So first, let me start with a question. 69.7. Can anyone guess what this number means? I assume no one knows. This number represents the percentage of respondents who answer that we cannot live on the Earth in the future. Okay. How about this number? 81.8. Can anyone guess? This figure represents the percentage of people who answer that um, who answer that um, we should rather we should rather develop technologies which solve many problems uh, like global issues than terraforming. These results were obtained from my questionnaire. I sent out my questionnaire using Google Forms from 33 Japanese freshmen, and about 70% of people keep feeling anxious to the Earth's future. This result was unexpected for me. Also, as I said, 81.8% of people believe that we should concentrate, concentrate to solve various kinds of global issues. So, what, is, what, is, what exactly kind of problem do we have in the world? In my questionnaire, the most common issue was about our environment. There are more than half of people who think that we cannot live on the Earth due to environments getting worse. So I'm going to tell you about so I'm going to tell you about um, soils and water. Soils and water are deeply related with human life, and we use tap water every day. From uh, we use tap water every day, and it comes from rivers and lakes. Farmers make vegetables and crops using new boys using water. Besides, in some area, people have to use uh, natural water from rivers as a daily life water. If those rivers are polluted, what will happen to us? Our body must be polluted. Now, I'd like to show you how rivers and lakes are polluted these days in the world. Please look at this picture. This picture was taken in Ayase River in Tokyo. Actually, this is the dirtiest river in Japan. Okay, let's look at the global scale. In those rivers, there are lots of waste and harmful substances. Do you want to use this kind of water? No way. We need to remove these, subst these harmful substances and purify using not chemicals, but uh, natural power. So, however, how can we do that? There is a solution. So today, I'd like to talk about one of great solutions, bioremediation. Bioremediation contains two words, bio and remediation. Bio means biology, and remediation means to cure and heal. So bioremediation is a technology to de decompose and take harmful substances away using living things, especially bacteria. Of course, bacteria is not perfect. They cannot decompose all pollutants, but they can resolve these substances. In other words, they can be effective in most cases, except for special cases such as heavy metals. Okay, let me point out three attractive points of bioremediation. One, specializing oils. In nature, some bacteria can live using oils. Those bacteria are utilized at the maximum, and then they can change oil into water and carbon dioxide in the end. This is really useful, because according to the Japanese government, 80% of uh, water quality accidents in rivers is oil spills. This is really great. Two, 
eco-friendly. For example, if we, if, we, if we use chemicals to clean something, animals will be damaged. Also, if we remove the polluted soil directly, um, they will animals will lose their uh, animals will lose their territory. In this way, um, in this way, garbage were garbage are produced and eco ecosystem are damaged. However, in bioremediation, bioremediation can provide um, oils without any garbage. And if after purification finished, um, bacteria disappear naturally. So it's very eco-friendly to um, environment and ecosystems. Last but not least, cost effectiveness. In bioremediation, we just put nutrients made by bacteria into the soil or water. So we don't need to make like this, these factories. So we can keep the cost. Please look at this figure. This figure shows the cost of um, each purification way. As you can see, bioremediation is the cheapest. Bioremediation represents the great technology with specializing oils, eco-friendly, sorry, specializing oils, eco-friendly, and cost effectiveness. Actually, this technology was invented 20 years ago, but it hasn't been popular yet. So today, I hope you to um, I hope you that this my presentation is an opportunity to think about bioremediation. Bacteria have a great abilities to which uh, our science um, cannot imitate. They have saved our planet many years. Healing nature using natural power is the best way for us and other animals to live on the earth for a long time. I believe that bioremediation will be ma will make it possible. And these are my references. Thank you very much.